Well, hello, Taylor. Not seen you for a while. I'm gonna go and charge it, home and charge it first. Oh, for crying out loud. For frick's sakes! What kind of a shit battery pack is that? Emma's lounge fly today. There's a storm coming. There's a right storm coming. It's gonna be like one of the worst. Jeez. Welcome to a new lodge vlog. Four days later. We're back at the lodge. It's four days later. Um, starting this vlog as soon as the last one is finished, um, we are going to pick up an emergency zapping pack, zapping pack for Taylor. Um, if you didn't see the travel home day vlog, we went to pick Taylor up after the Florida and she's completely flat. Well, not completely, not completely. she's got 9.6 volts in the starter battery mm. and it's below 12 so the engine won't even attempt to start when it's below that for safety reasons. Okay. So we have to go and top up the battery with an emergency zapper. Which we bought from Amazon, it's been delivered, we're going to go collect that. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday but they didn't turn up till like 9 o'clock at night. So it was delivered yesterday. So we're going to go collect that and uh, hopefully get Taylor started, bring her back here, give her a full charge and uh, then we can crack on with some fan work. But we need to find out why she's gone flat. Yes. Right, we've just called out the locker and picked up this beauty. So it's like a battery pack that has this connect onto it here and then it goes onto the battery's terminals and then gives it a boost so the van can start. Once it's started, the alternator will kick in and then start charging the battery and then we'll give it like a half an hour drive just to get some charge back in it and then we can move it. Well, hello Taylor. Not seen you for a while. I'm talking to Taylor. So, uh, I've completely forgot. It's like, completely forgot. Oh, wow. Right, let's have a look. What's happening? What's this? We plug this into this little port here. So the battery is under there. Plug that in. And then you connect Red to red and black to black. Ready to go. Green light. We're ready? Yeah. Ooh. Right, let's try boost. What's it saying? I'm not sure. Nope, still not working. Big six. Right, hold on. I was hoping it was going to be nice and easy and simple. Nothing's ever simple. Right, I need you to go get an instruction book out of the car. I don't mind that splash back now. No, I don't like it. After all these weeks, Nick don't like it. Um, but I don't mind it. There's no charge in it. And what way when we got it? 78%. Unless it's not at a full charge. Oh, for God's sake. Well, that'll be why then. So I'm going to go and charge, home and charge it first. Oh, for crying out loud. Just trying it again. Before we leave, because we got back into the car and it said 72% again on the thing. So... We may have not read the instructions correctly and it's, whatever Nick's doing right now, it's starting to tick over. Nothing. It's started to tick over, but now nothing. Right, it's a couple of hours later and we are at 100% on the uh, jump start thing, whatever it's called. Um, so we're heading back down to the garage, uh, storage place, to see if this will get Taylor finally started. Right. It's connected. Back in the van. Okay, it's on the positive. It's on the negative. Please work. Green lights on. Please. No. For oh, frick's sakes! What kind of a shit battery pack is that? Yes, it's worked! <laughs> Thank you for that. Beauty, beauty, beauty. It's gone down to 97%. Okay, it's not a shit battery pack, it's worked. Well, why didn't it work the first time? It might have just needed to like transfer some power or something for a few seconds. Now, how long do I leave it before I disconnect that? Uh, I don't know. Can you get me the multimeter out of the car? Okay. 
we're looking for about 13 volts. 14, that's fine. The problem is that's coming from the alternator, not from the um, not from the battery. Here we're, are we going to drive it back to the lodge now? Yeah. And we're back driving Taylor. So um, we're just going to go out and give her a, a quick drive. Quick Half an hour, 40 minutes driving. Um, put some charge back in the battery. Yeah. Um, and the only place we can think of going is McDonald's for a McFlurry. Um, because the diet's not started until next week sometime. Until jet lag ends. Yeah. Fully ends. It's not fully I mean, ends. We're sleeping. We but are, we're still a little bit tired. We're though. out of sync still a little bit because yeah. I'm like up on my laptop till midnight and that's not like me. Uh, and then I have to force myself to go to bed. And then we're waking up about half eight, nine, which which is late for us. It's late for us, yeah, definitely. But we're, we're getting there. We're only three days after we've got back from Florida uh, at the time. At this time of filming. Um, fourth so, day, we're on his fourth day. Well, it's Sunday and we've landed Thursday morning, so whatever. Um, so we're pleased that we've got Taylor started. So that battery pack's not shite. No, it's very, very good. Well, it wasn't at first. It's a bit temperamental because if there's no much, like, like a decent energy flow in it, it don't work. Yeah, well, apparently that can charge, that can start up to 20 cars in one, one um, charge. charge. But I don't know. My dad told us about these ages ago because um, my sister's battery went flat, I think, and um, her neighbour was telling my dad about these things saying it starts your car straight away and um, it was the hairdresser on uh, yeah Friday. the hairdresser told Nick as well why don't you get one of these and it reminded us about it um, so we got it and we'll just keep that now and try and remember to keep it charged in the van at all times we do have a battery charger as well yeah. we ordered because that does battery repair so if you do fully drain your battery it can damage them but this battery charger uses like pulses Oh, and he almost stopped then. It uses pulses to um, charge your battery so as to not like, damage it. Yeah. We're and hoping it, it, we won't it, stall. It, it, it repairs a battery basically. Now that we've dropped the car off at the lodge. <laughs> we're gonna get, we're like we're 10 gonna miles away from lodge now. Oh, well, these are the kind of things that we're going to have to deal with when we actually get on, on our travels. Um, so well, um, I'm glad that it's happened here yes. and not in the middle of Spain. Yeah, so, so we've got an emergency zapper yeah, now. That's one thing that's covered now. Um, so, as with anything that we get from Amazon for the van build, we'll put it on our Amazon store um, just for anybody that's, you know, interested in that kind of stuff. Right. Not just for vans, just for anything. Well, yeah, well, yeah, it can, it can start any battery, that uh, car battery, so... The, um, the reviews, the, re the reason I bought that one is because in the reviews, somebody else who had got a VW camper van had used it and said it were a godsend. Mm -hmm. well, but we have to now make sure that whenever we put the van into storage, now the DC to DC charger is pulling a feed from the starter battery, even when it's idle, just to keep the monitoring working, and I think that's what's done it. Mm. Um, we have to make sure that when we put it in storage for long periods, that we disconnect the negative lead mm. off, the main, off the main battery, and then it stops any drain. It's good that all these things are happening now, so we get to know about these things before we get off on us travels and yeah. stuff. Um, it's almost like James, because he went flat more than pancake day. More than, oh yeah, more than pancakes, yeah. Um, so, for anybody that's, I'm not even sure if we said this or not, I think we may have done, wondering where James is, we got rid of him because we just didn't have any more room for him. And um, it was just a casual car, we had fun with it, and um, we're having more fun with Taylor now. So we needed the room. Run! They're gonna melt! Run! So to kill some time, we've come to McDonald's. Cadbury's Flake. Now, they seem to have put a little bit of raspberry sauce in yours. Oh, nice. Did you ask him for that? No. There was a crack. Oh, it's running. There was a flake with a raspberry, but I didn't know whether he'd Yes, it or not. yes, come on, it's melting. It's a few days later. The folks are here. Hi. My mum and dad's here. We've still not, not done any work on the van. Um, Nick's had a uh, dicky shoulder, which is clearing up now, isn't it? Mm. Kind of. Um, so we are just about to go out for a coffee and stuff and then in a couple of hours we are going to meet um, some friends of ours. Some new wives. Some wives, yes. Um, the Disney wives, we're going to meet them for lunch. Um, and mum and dad's coming as well. So um, ready to go for a yeah. coffee? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Right, we're just coming to a shop. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. We're making our own <laughs> peanut butter. So we put a jar underneath. Oh yeah, we close it fast. That will go. That will tap it on the table. Do you want to put some more in or just try it first? Um, well, can you put your finger in and just see if it tastes nice? Well, it's peanuts, isn't it? Can I just try it or what? Well, you're buying this. So, so yeah, we're just coming to the shop where they weigh everything. Mm. It's just peanuts. 
It's just, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Warm as well. <laughs> yeah, get them out. So you just bring your own jars into this place. We're just waiting for Vicky and Emma to come, so this is why we're coming here. She weighed the jar first, then she knows. She weighed the jar first, yeah. so the the jar's free. She's well, I don't think it's free. usually free, but um, I know, I know, we just asked um, if we can buy a jar as well, and she said, "Oh, these jars are free." I want a peanut butter. And butter. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got all sorts of uh, food and things. This is in Beverly, next to where we're going for uh, lunch. Um, you just bring your own jars and you uh, fill it all up. They've got food. They've got what's these things? rice and um, oils and um, then I think there's like um, household stuff over there what's these green scoops for gluten free oh, gluten free flour and things my mum's getting some peanut butter now love stuff like this right so my mum and dad's just got some as well so they gave them the jar I don't know if they're, they're giving them the jar is like a a That's thing, a yeah. I don't know whether it's like a thing that they do all the time. Well, giving you these free like jars. On top, ours is not. Ours is quite dry. Yeah, it's it is there. I know why. It is there. No, maybe it's because he's just put some fresh peanuts in. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right, this is where we've just been. The refill jar, and for that. How much? Love it. Three pounds seventy-four. Well, that's not bad because for that whole earth stuff, it's about that three fifty sometimes. It's whole earth for that just, amount. Yeah. I mean, it's smooth peanut butter, but it's also got a little bit of grain. How much is that? Three seventy-four. No, but I mean the, the jar itself. Well, I don't know. Yeah. They just give us it. No, they were free. Oh, I don't no. know. Yeah. Maybe a five. And that were free jar as well. They're, yeah. They're really good. Thank you. So it's airtight. This one. need to have some toast tonight now. Do they have a guy even wait? Let me have a taste then. Mm. It's proper. Let me have a taste. It looks really oily. Oily taste. Mm, I did yeah, have a taste, nice. but it's. I'm actually, ours is, the oil's coming to the surface of ours now mm. as well. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it's warm. Mm. It is warm. It looks like cake batter, doesn't it? Mm. It needs a bit of salt. Well, no, it's you know, right. you know, it needs, good. It needs some marmite on the bread. Mm. It's good. Mm. Right, this is where we're going for lunch, the Beverly Hills Diner and Bar. We've been before. Yeah, they've got tiny coffee here, uh, which is very un-American. Um, we only had a bacon butty last time, so we'll see what we get today. Right, here we are in the Beverly Hills Diner. I'll just show you the menu a little bit, show you how American it is. It's quite American. I mean, that looks like corn dogs. Yeah, they are corn dogs. I'm devastated. Yeah, they're um, unfortunately they're. Um, it's a little bit like McDonald's. Their milkshake machine isn't working. So they come to their milkshake. I bet they didn't clean it last night. Maybe hot dogs. Look at the burgers. Oh my god, what is that? A steak on top of a burger. De deconstructed burger. And it's a rib ribeye steak on top of the burger. Um, so uh, there's um, salads and well, that was their ice cream milkshakes. Um, American afternoon tea you can have. Two courses for $13.95. I'm going to show that now. So we're going to go for this thing. Set menu. Two courses for $13.95. You can either get a starter and a main or a main and dessert. Look at that. That pasta is £17 yeah. on its own. And yet it's two courses on that menu. $13.95, including that. It just feels like we're back in Florida, doesn't it? It does. Have I got a coupon? Right, we're all here. The wives are here and they're already eating on their uh, nachos. Um, we are got nachos. Are we sharing? Yeah, we'll share. Come nachos on. and southern fried chicken. Oh, I'm jealous of the chicken. After, after all that chicken we had in America, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want it anymore. And you've made me have it. Well, you don't have to have it. Right, we've come um, to an American diner and I've got salad. American. I've got salad. I like salad. I have it in America as That's well. That's about as American as a Chinese takeaway. Vicky's gone for it though. Look at that. Chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles with uh, maple syrup. Yeah, it is. And my mum's got the same as well. It looks even bigger. Are you having the maple syrup? Yeah. Yeah. It's wet. Why? You said you don't like wet. Yeah, well, that's not like. She likes it's wet and sugary. Sobby. You love it. She didn't like so, so like gravy and things like that. And um, Emma and my dad's got a big uh, burger. And I'm being as usual. Nothing. Nick's hasn't arrived yet. You're always last, isn't it? I don't know why. It's not the most awkward one. It's just pasta, pasta. sausage pasta with pepperoni. That looks good as well. Mm. What were you saying? That's not American. It's not. It's Italian. Oh, well, whatever. You can get this in America because I nearly got it. It's like a pizza pasta. Mm. The pepperoni, the tomato sauce and the sausage, it tastes like a pizza, quite badly. 
like a pizza sauce on it. Right, we've made his way to Mark the Sparks. We liked yesterday's um, meal, so nice. We're getting it again. Not for tonight, just to put it in the fridge. Air fryer cooked 190 at yeah. 15 minutes on a low shelf in our in our oven with um, Vegemite and butter. Yeah. Oh my god, it was the nicest steak I've ever. 12 quid for that. A, a uh, sauce and a side, and then a bottle of Pinot Noir to wash it down with. Yeah. Emma's lounge fly today is the one that uh, she got while we're sure with us. It's very bright today, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we've all got yeah. our sunglasses all on, sunglasses but uh, on. Emma's, bless her, Emma? they're in small world in Florida. Such a small world, isn't it? <laughs> Just coming to Dunelm before we go back to the car. Quite like those. We do a lot of Disney at home range, quite like those, for tea, coffees and sugars. Mugs. Ooh, what's this? Like a dip board. I quite like that as well. Mickey Mouse chopping board. Notepads. Um, 12 piece dinner set, 35 quid. And then there's some other stuff over here. What's these like? Just an ornament. What are you doing? I'm just looking at these Disney ornaments and stuff. You're I quite such like a that. Socket, match you. Comparing them prices to what Disney's paying Oh no, way. that's nice. I don't know why I'd put it in it though, but it matched the lodge. It's spoons. No, is it? That's for spoons. Like oh. wooden spoons and What's this? Oh. spatulas and things. What's it say? Disney it's Mickey printed lantern. plant pot. Oh, I could put a. Um... It's too heavy for fun. No, I meant for um, shelves. Clocks. I like that big clock as well. Mm, it's their uh, Disney Home Disney 100 range. Oh yeah, we've got them. Where have we got them? Is it the apartment or apartment lodge? Bed. Yeah. And then they've got a Star Wars range as well. Look at this. A blind. What is that? Blind? Is that what it's it is? It's a blind that starts off in a galaxy yeah. far, far away. We do need some apartment to apartment <laughs> truck band, don't we? <laughs> Darth Vader. The clock. Yeah, I like that clock. Death Star clock there. Oh yeah, Death Star. Darth Vader um, little plant pot. Oh my god. Um, Look at that. A C3PO lamp. No, oh, it's a headphone, it's a headphone stand. stand. A headphone stand, yeah. Stand. Oh, look at that. R2D2 um, diffusers. And what does it smell of? I don't know, about 15 quid. What does it smell of? May the force. Is this a doorstop? What's that? Oh, just to put on. Like a sign? Yeah. What is it, that? Just, I think it's a doorstop. No, it can't be. Well, what is it? Block ornament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the next day. Uh, my parents have gone home, bless them. <laughs> <laughs> Bless them, it's been lovely having the them here. Gone. Um, so, they've gone home because um, they went home early. It's, what time is it? 12 o'clock. There's a storm coming. There's a right storm coming. It's going to be like one of the Fish worst this, this year. Um, don't know what storm it's called. What's it called? I think it begins with a B, doesn't it? Beast? I don't really know. I don't know. Anyway, we've had emails telling us to, like from the lodge pack, make sure all our furniture is safe because it's going to be 60 mile an hour winds. Damage to property warnings, all that kind of stuff. There's red um, warnings out for loss of life and stuff like that. So I hope everybody stayed safe. Obviously, this is a couple of weeks ago for you guys. Um, so it's raining already, but it's going to get worse this afternoon. And then during the night, it's going to get horrendous. And then all, all day tomorrow winds. is going to be horrible. What a perfect way to work on the van. So we've still not done anything on the van. We might do a little bit today. Depending on weather, obviously. Well, um, we've the... just catching up on some jobs since my mum and dad's gone home. We've got all these parcels to uh, go and ship, so we might do that now before it gets any worse. Um, what were I going to say? Three years rudely interrupted. I was actually talking. Something to do with the van. Yeah, but you never stop talking, so. Um, it's starting fine, even after we've used that zapper pack. Mm -hmm. We've not had to charge the battery. We have bought a battery charger just in case, um, but that zapper pack seemed to have worked fine, Brilliant. didn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. So, but we haven't done any work on the inside of the van. We just no. don't know what the weather's putting us off. My shoulder's still niggling. Yeah, so it. there's no point. Like there's nerve. no rush. There's no rush. We'll just get back to Wait it. Wait a minute. When we get back to it. You wanted to go off in it before Christmas. Well, if it were finished, that's 60 if it, days. If it's not, it's not. There's no rush. Um, we just so, don't know what to do next on it. I mean, there's loads to do, but <sighs> this weather is going to put us right off because yeah. we'd have to be like locked inside. We've just got to get back into the van mood. We're not in it at the moment, ever since we came back from Florida. We were the same when we came back from France. We didn't want to do yeah. it so, until we got we'll back, get back into, into it. it. The weather's been rubbish. Ooh. And what? Security. 
Oh. Um, Don't the trespassing. So some of the birds' bikes have blown down from the roof. Oh, that reminds me. I so we'll have to fix that at some point, obviously, when the storm's finished. So we'll go out, do a posting. Um, What's the current? Well, what, you're patting me like a dog for? Well, we'll see. Because I'll just, it helps me think, should we go out for a toasted current? I don't know. We've got HelloFresh, it got delivered yesterday. Um, so we've got a few meals for that. And we eat last night after that humongous meal. With Vicky and Emma. In Beverly. And we also got another steak meal from um, Mike Spencer while we're there as well, because it was cheap. Well, we need to, are we going to eat that? We've got to slot it in with these, yeah. these Hello Freshers. Fine. Let's go. Right, we're at the garden centre, the one that we usually come to every year to look at the Christmas decorations. Um, they usually put them up at the end of September and it's like the middle of the October at the minute. We don't so, we see these Christmas no. decorations. We have seen some Christmas decorations, but I, I don't know where. They last time we came. No, they hadn't. They don't start it until after the August bank holiday. And we hadn't been at that point, so... Um, if you've seen it, you've seen it, if not. And we may have a... No. We had... A, last time we came here, we had that nice cream scone as yeah. well. So I'm sure they started... They hadn't. The, um, they hadn't. Because anyway. we went through and we were looking at... Um, it's a riveting... Um, anyway, we'll have to look at Christmas decorations. About the garden centre Christmas decorations. I wonder which um, dancing snowman they'll have this year. Mm. It was usually um, reindeer, isn't it? Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? They are painted garden girls. Oh, they've painted them. Yeah, looks like it. So they sprayed them. Oh, unless that's just the name of the. Uh, I don't know. I wonder, anyway, I was, I was looking at these. These are easier than getting a pumpkin and scraping it all out, aren't they? Oh, they are for these it's garden such a miserable shit. Yeah, they're nice. There's no fun in that, is there, for a kid? About time they got something new. It is, they need a new one. Or new voices at least. We do need to start thinking about what calendar we're gonna have this year. That's I want that nice Yeah, but that's thing, not got the it? it's not got the white chocolate. No, balls, isn't it? I want a really decent one this year. You said that every year. I know I do. I know because I'm tight usually and I'm not gonna be tight this year. I want a really good one. I don't want sweets and stuff. Leopard doesn't change its spots. Yeah, we'll see. I don't need a festive pen and obviously I'm going into minimalism now, so I'm not gonna buy all but look at that when you write it just goes like that all the time. Minimalism just get a play more. Are you ever going to um, get your own little Christmas town? It looks like the ones at Alton Towers. Remember we went to Alton Towers and yeah. we saw these little knitted shop things. I wonder how long it took to create that. I know, it's bloody massive. It gets bigger every year, doesn't it? Yeah. Would you enjoy, would you enjoy setting all that up? Yeah, but if some rock in middle, you'd be screwed. Well, yeah, we're going to get it middle. Well, you couldn't. You'd have to put buttons across to climb them and fix it. Winter garden so Christmas. Though, isn't it? That it just looks, looks like um, Epcot, doesn't it? Like when you're in uh, Norway. In, yeah, Germany. Germany. Yeah, yeah. Look at the Christmas tree in the centre of town there with the flashing lights on it. Where, oh, no, yeah, well, that's what I was just looking at. Yeah, look. Oh, looks like Notre Dame. Christmas trees. Look at this. Truffle factory. Muffin shop. Santa's workshop Ooh. up there. Oh, I remember that from last year. Oh, when it drops down, it bangs. Quite violently. Yeah. Goes right up slowly. And all of a sudden. <laughs> Santa's workshop, always sucking chair off the ball. I know. It does fascinate me. It really fascinates Nick. But he. Uh, I can't believe we get the wings. Christmas starts from earlier and earlier. Oh, here's, your, here's one for you, the brewery. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's a German one and all. 110 quid for that. I've got to say, know. it's not as good as when Janine used to do it. Oh, what's friend Janine used yeah, to work here, used, yeah. She used to do it all, and it used to be really festive, the lights used to be off, and it felt Christmassy. Oh, well, it does now. Stop yeah. your moaning. The fluorescents exactly aren't selling it. Spray foam of snow. <laughs> it actually looks all right. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The gingerbread house. Quite like these, actually. Not that they go with our right, uh, tree. We were looking at them and we were like, oh, we got some of them that somebody sent. And can you remember when I said Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I were trying it. Where were we? Were we in business? Uh, in Walmart, I think. Oh, yeah. I quite like that, Where actually. Would you put it down? Just to like, hang, maybe near TV cabinet. I quite like that. There's no wall space, though. Mm, I wouldn't put it you hang it up. You could take that um, tree picture out and put that in in its place while it's Christmas. Well, yeah, actually. Could do that. I quite like it, that, do you? That might fit inside the blackboard and all in the kitchen, you never know. How would you stick it up? Well, double-sided tape or something, or Velcro. 
Well, what we'll do is we'll measure inside the blackboard and next time we come down. No, because we never will. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. What a waste of money. It's not minimalism though, is it buying it? No. It's nice Christmas though. And it's October. Ooh, they've got a new one inside. Abominable snowmen. Yeah, I think it's a new one that they're from yeah, last year. We haven't seen that now. I decided against that. I did like it, but <laughs> I know, but it's my new so thing. Shy. Do I really need something to add to the lodge? Or is it just gonna be like, obviously it's gonna be put under a bed for a I while. I think you're actually missing the point of minimalist this way. What do you mean? Missing the point. Minimalist just means getting rid of things, not buying things. No, it means only buying the things that you really, really need, need and want. We don't need a tidings of joy picture, no. Right, we've got a uh, massive, humongous scone to share, which looks like a cherry scone, actually. Um, we're having half each. Lee's got a flat white, I've got a cup of tea. He's just gone for a pea, and um, I'm just gonna devour this now. Look at the jam in this. The last time we had this, the uh, the whipped cream was delicious. Right, dinner done. We had, we didn't have a lot of fresh, we had the Marks and Spencer steak. Didn't like it. Didn't like the um, peppercorn sauce, and the steak was overcooked because Lee wanted it done a little bit more. So it was crispy and bitter from that peppercorn. He is here. Um, so I don't know whether we've mentioned it earlier in this vlog or the previous vlog, but um, when we got back from um, Florida and we managed to get the van running, I noticed that when we got the um, worked up out again, we noticed that it had got a bow on it. When I've looked into it, it was only oiled on one side. So I've contacted the company, they've sent me some oil. So I've oiled the other side of the table, which is here. Uh, and I've put the other one in the van on the word to where it's going to go and I've oiled it there um, so we just need to put two or three coats on either either side now I mean it has been wrapped up since it's been in Florida so it shouldn't have done that but um, two or three coats on either side and see how it goes on so I think when we fit it we may have to I mean it's only it's only bound by about that like a like a like a bridge isn't it mm. by about that much maybe four mil something like that so it's not too far warped it shouldn't be doing it though it shouldn't be doing it, no. It wasn't oiled on both sides. They actually refunded me for the pre-oiling that I'd paid for and then sent me some oil. Um, which doesn't fix the issue, but we'll give it a try and then we'll we'll take it from there. So um, that's done. It's going to take probably another three weeks for it to do the other way with the oil on it to soften the wood. Uh, when we do fit it, we're going to put some metal struts underneath it in the same direction as the bend. So it will basically stop it from arching again because the metal will keep it pinned down. So that's going to be the plan when we get round to it. Um, the van is fine, it's been starting normally without the need to use that zapper pack, it was just that particular one incident. I suspect what it was is the DC to DC charger which connects the batteries to the alternator is constantly running off the starter battery, the, the, the normal van battery, even when you're not using it and because I'd shut down all the internal side, the leisure battery, it was still draining the starter battery to keep the Bluetooth monitoring and the voltage monitor active and did it for three weeks without any kind of charge. So I think it dropped below the minimum level uh, because as soon as I've disconnected that wire on the DC to DC charger and ran it for an hour, it's been fine since. So what I need to do the next time we put the van into like a long shutdown mode is I need to get an isolator switch, one of those red isolator switches and actually connect it um, under the driver's seat onto the positive cable so that we can actually disconnect the the charge from the starter battery to the battery at the back so we can do a proper shutdown because bits and bats were still connected and it was causing drain. That's my theory anyway because when we went to France and we left it for two weeks it didn't have any drain down. The only difference between this trip and that trip was the fact that we'd installed the electrics and it was that that was causing a drain on the battery. I'm pretty confident that that's what it is anyway. Um, no wind yet. No wind yet, we're battened down, we're ready. Uh, all the furniture's kind of strapped up and pushed to one side. Oh, um, we're going to start about 6 o'clock. Chapter 7. Well, you know what the weather's like. It's gradually going to pick up from 6 o'clock tonight, which is Thursday, and it's going to get worse and worse, peaking at 4 in the morning tonight and all day tomorrow. And then Saturday at 6 a.m. it's going to disappear. Mark and Hannah have said that they've already got the rain down south, despite having sunshine today. In fact, we had a bit of sunshine this afternoon, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Um, went for a long walk. So it's not, yeah, we went down to the beach. So it's not been, we haven't really vlogged anything since we got back. It's been, it's, it's been a week. My shoulder's still niggly. Um, We're catching up on editing, just been visiting family and stuff like that. Yeah, his mum and dad's been. Um, we've continued to eat, we haven't started the diet yet. But what else? Got That's it, it really? Yeah. Well, yeah, you've continued to eat since we got back from Florida. My stomach off it again. I blame the Bazzers because they got some um, 
there's a place called Pisano's. Is it Pisano's? They have these garlic bread rolls, and it comes with like a garlic butter in a vinegar, and you dip these garlic. Well, uh, anyway, they went. The other, I said the other night, but last week they went and they brought a box of these rolls back. Mainly stood and ate the entire box. Just to shove it in just, your mouth, just you. I was fighting to get my share, thanks. We just literally ravished the entire box. The bazaar just stood laughing at us like we'd never been fed, weren't they? Uh, and I all that bread. And I knew when I were doing it, it'll probably screw up my stomach, but I was so hungry and I just wolfed it down and I've been suffering for it ever since. Can I just so, say, talking about bread, that peanut butter is very good. It is. It needs a bit more peanut flavour. <laughs> How many more peanuts do you want? Well, I don't know, but it's not as peanutty as jarred stuff. I think there's probably like um, oh, flavour yeah, enhancers yeah, in it exactly, and things yeah. like that. But um, if they made it with roasted peanuts, like salted roasted yeah. peanuts, that would probably bring the flavour out. I'll get it from there all the time now. As soon as that's empty, I'll go back. And, uh, it is very nice. Set the jar back. Yeah. I like how when you, when you pump the machine, it comes out warm, mm. when it's ground the nuts, do you know what I mean? And it's naturally semi-crunchy and semi-smooth as well. Right, I'm going to go in the bedroom and um, put some Star Trek on. Lee's going to watch vlogs. What are you watching? Masperation. Hi, Michael. You're going to watch Lisa? Not yet. I'm going to watch Lisa's vlog when she went to... Uh, she thought something to um, declutter, I'm sure. I'm sure she's not even started a decluttering. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm off to chill and um, we'll wait for the storms. Mm. Welcome to Storm Day. Um, it's... What time is it? Let's have a look. 9.09. I've been up a while editing, but I'm just sat there watching things like happening outside and listening outside. Just heard a big bang. So did I. I actually felt the launch judder as well. Down below. Look at all this in green. Oh, what is it? One of the planters. I yeah, the thought it would be. In fact, both planters. Let's have a look. One of them's down there. That one's here. Oop, oop. All the balls. Freaking hell. And um, then I was just, because I sit there editing, so that lounger take off, lift up, turn over, and plonk back down. And I don't think it's broken, it's just come apart. Oh, yeah, and the bird's backs are coming off the roof. <laughs> so, this is just the start of the storm day. Cold, blustery. It's not super cold, it's just super windy, but a little bit chilly. So I'm gonna finish the vlog, guys, and you can join us on the next vlog to see, see how the storm does for us. Nick's gonna get coffee on now and do us some toast. I'm off back to bed, it's nice and snowy. Get that there. coffee on. No, Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, and um, we'll see you on next day for Storm Day. Bye. Bye.